touch. Hey, let's go find the Twitch chat. Let's tweet about it. Let's see if anybody's here. Yeah. And if they can hear us, someone's gonna let us know. I got a whole introductory spiel. Whoops. Whoops. I don't want to do that. I got a whole introductory spiel. All right. Well, and I'd like I, I we want to wait until like, there's some people in the room before I do the introductory spiel. Hello, hello, Twitch people. Ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, ha. Uh, uh. I suppose the menu is probably hear. quieter than this game's gonna have dialogue, isn't I it? Can hear. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna spoken have to, dialogue. We're gonna have to be. I mean, we should maybe turn on subtitles. Yeah, we can see if there are things under subtitles. There. Yeah. On now. Cool. Art remastered. Eh, let's remaster it just for my. I'm probably gonna switch it back and forth if it can do that. Yeah, I don't see I want to compare. It's our voices are kind of low. It's probably just smoothing. I believe you. I'll turn our voices up, and I'll turn the game down. Hopefully, that'll be a little better. All right, all right. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit the, 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 the new game button. Yeah, let's, let's do it. We see. No. No, we d would not like to enable that. I'm perplexed that you're even giving me the choice. Well, I mean, the game is in, is assuming that the only reason that you're playing it now is that you played it when you were a kid. And yeah. So this is going to be like uh, caked in nostalgia. But like... We were just talking about this piece. Yeah. Peggle uses it. There's, uh, well, we're gonna, we'll get through the opening, uh, cinematic here, and then I'm gonna give, uh, a little bit of insight into what we're doing here, and what I expect. Is the first act of the game gonna have a lot of... I'm thirsty. Never mind. <laughs> I'll let them talk. I don't think you should drink that. Uh, yeah, it's Grieg. Josh didn't believe me when I told him it was Grieg when we were talking about it earlier. It was... Greek? It turns out it's Greek. Who's Greek? It's from Pure Gint. It makes me feel you know, Pure Gint? Nope. A voice actor? No, the, the music, Josh. Oh, Greek. That's what you mean. Edvard Greek. That, that Pure thing. Gint. <laughs> I forgot already that we had mentioned any music whatsoever. Wow. Uh, continuity. <laughs> Pure Gint. Pure Gint. It just does not sound like it would be the name of that. It's the name of a, of a Norwegian folk hero, Josh. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is something like that. No, it but is to my, exactly to my, what that to is. my ears, it sounds like, you know, Pure Gint. <laughs> not Pure Gint. Whoa, what is it? Peer. P-E-R. Ah. P-E-E-R. Hey, these guys live in the main menu. Yeah, they do. They didn't used to. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the bad look. I assume the voice acting is a remaster feature? No. Oh. No, this is all it's all rich. What system did this originally play on? The PC and this and Mac. This voice acting didn't even sound compressed at all in the original? No. Wow. It ran off a CD. Wow. C D quality audio. Quality. C D run. You remember C D That is high tech. I ha I own that C D. Somewhere. This game is not as old as I thought. So this is newer than your Monkey Islands. Oh, yeah, only Maybe. just. Mm. It's like, it was the next one after Monkey Island 2, if I recall. Yeah, correctly. Monkey Island 2, I think, did have a voice acting, didn't it? He's asking if that voice acting sounds remastered to me, see? See, he's, <laughs> you're being, I, I you're assumed, being sassed by the audience I assumed already. it was going to be all crunchy, you know? You know that, those old, I know. All right. those old compressed audios? Okay, so everybody, while we're watching this, the I didn't, I didn't catch any of that. By the way, that's fine. <laughs> while we're actually watching the opening credits, uh, this stream is going to be like an old school Mumble Squad. An old school Mumble Squad was me making Josh play Illusion of Gaia, which is a game that I loved when I was a kid, and is part of a genre which is JRPG that uh, Josh can't stand. No relationship with whatsoever. And it was just like me torturing Josh by making him play a game that he wouldn't have enjoyed under the best of circumstances, a game which was more idiosyncratic than good. This is good, but it's also wacky. It's really wacky. Uh -huh. And it's a 
sort of a puzzle game in the way that these point-and-click adventures are, but it's completely arbitrary. Do you think wacky is something that's going to keep me from liking this? I, you don't have a high tolerance for wacky in my experience, John. I, I guess it depends on the wacky. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, uh, many of the things I like are wacky. Yeah. Well, crazy, we'll crazy Cat is wacky. It's not just kind of wacky. It's not. The, crazy Cat is not wacky. Are you kidding me? It's super wacky. wacky. Maybe not in the same sense. Like they, with the with the with the cartoon honk sound and the hubcaps falling off and they drove through a barnyard and the chickens. Yeah, it's all very. Uh, they're it's, hitting all the classic beats. That's, that's pretty sure. wacky. They, these guys like their comedy sound effects. Mm-hmm. Um, what? That's that was a bunch of skittles falling over. Yeah, it was, said, it was, comedy it was, sound. Comedy what sound. a goofy sound! See, this is the idiom, right? Yeah. And the music is is also part of that same idiom. I think the music is really good, but it's definitely part of that yeah, same yeah, idiom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, and the other thing about this game is that I remember it with incredible clarity. Yeah. And I know exactly how to win it, but Josh doesn't, and I'm not going to tell him how. I'm going to make him play it. Yeah. So the this is. Um, well, I guess I'll, I'll wait and see. Okay. What's I'll, the plot so far? There's a... So, in all of an answer to your question, this is a sequel to Maniac Mansion, which may be the game that you were thinking of. A very, very old uh, uh, adventure game that was on the NES, is that, as well as on old PC systems. Maniac Mansion 1 is actually embedded in this game entirely. It was well, so small that they could just do that. Mm -hmm. you, can you can play it on a computer. Uh, Bernard is from the original Maniac Mansion. Okay. These are his new buddies. The idea behind the Maniac Mansion series is that you play as multiple characters in uh, a point-and-click adventure game setting. There you go, Josh. Where's his secret lab? Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can probably just use the mouse for most of this. Yeah, probably. There's some character selecting going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess that's not really a thing at the moment. So we're looking for the secret lab, huh? Yeah, we're looking for the secret lab. Uh -huh. the covering that territory. Uh, yes, he can't do the thing that he wants to do. Me? I can't? Hey, Drews, who are you again? <laughs> he asked what you meant by that question in the in that <laughs> in that comment thread. I know he just really likes uh, to to find out things about me and doesn't give me any information in return. Hmm. I think what Isaac is trying to ask you, Drews, do you have a Tumblr handle no, or know, something he, that we know you He knows by. that's what I mean. I don't know if that um, does, because that's what he asked you. <laughs> no, I already... I already <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't see yeah. that. Very, very good. Okay. Oh, okay, so let's go to the office, then. Do, 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 do. I don't care about any of these things. I guess I, I have to play the game, though, and stop and look at stuff. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Oh, this guy is literally Ian Bogust. Oh, yeah. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. Uh huh. Okay. Do these. I bet if I move something, there'll be like a secret passage, right? Oh yeah, maybe. Given this is the only room I can go to. Let's attempt to steal his photos. I don't want to carry those people around in my. Yeah, uh, that must not fair. Gee, Dr. Oh. Fred doesn't have a penny. I didn't tell you to pick that up, did I? Huh? Why did you steal his bank <laughs> book, you fucking freak? <laughs> Why do I have this? Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design. Okay. Great stuff. Sure to come in handy. Sounds good. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. LucasArts owns Star Wars. Yeah, they do. I have three just like it at home. <laughs> I best not mess with it. Are we going to hope no one's watching? Right, right. Are we going to what? I look so goofy on video. Hey, it's a joke. There's a joke. Everywhere there's a joke. That was a joke? It's, it's, I mean, it's almost a joke. Does it count as a joke? It's a quip, maybe? Yeah. It's kind of a little funny. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. It looks broken. Yeah. But yeah. Can broken. we deal with that thing in the coin return? I don't know. Why don't you try clicking on the thing in the coin return? Oh, I see. You got a dime. 
God, that dime is so high res compared to what I remember today. Let me see if I can switch the graphics on the fly. I just want to see what this originally looked like. Classic art. Oh. Yeah, that's what I remember. Much the same. It's, it's, it's not bad. Yeah. I think I can see the appeal of the remastered, though. Hmm. It seems truer to itself. Yeah. It's the kind of cartoony that it wanted to be, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, we're trapped here forever. <laughs> Joke adjacent. Hey, Josh. Yeah. If you're looking for a secret lair, where would you look? I don't know. Behind a bookshelf, probably. Ah, behind a bookshelf. What else? Behind a portrait. I mean, behind a secret wall, probably. Down mm. some, down a musty stellar cellar, but I don't see any of those. You know, I'm, I'm trying to remember all the all the tropes I can. About <laughs> yeah, I keep remembering he... tropes. <laughs> Let's look in his desk drawer. <laughs> I want to drag this out for as long as I possibly can. <laughs> it's a bottle of correctional fluid. Oh, you know you'll need that. Of course. It's the only one you didn't have a quip about. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. What's dude? correction fluid? It's white out. Why Josh. am I robbing this dude? <laughs> because it's a point and click adventure game, Josh. You need to fill your uh Clearly straighten the picture and I'd rather not mess with nope. it. it might be booby You're terrible at searching for layers, dude. You gotta just tweak everything and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Chuck to the plant. A horticultural horror. Oh, this is right in the foreground. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Let's take it. Weep. Nicely done. You got a flyer. It's from George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. So far, so good. Okay. Let's ring the service bell. That might do it. Nope. You successfully dinged. That's I dinged. something. I dinged a dong. Mm -hmm. This is called Day of the Tentacle. Yeah. Look up that premise. I've, is there anything I have failed to look at? I haven't looked at the fucking gun with a dime stuck on it. <laughs> this is amazing, Josh. You're better, gonna... you're better at this even than I had hoped. <laughs> what? You mean what, I'm, what? I'm looking at everything? That's what you're supposed to do, right? Give gum with a dime stuck in it. That's... Should I stick a second gum in it? A dime in it? Can I do that? Yeah. Nah. It, it definitely led me in that direction, though. Look, I've got this. Yes. Oh, I can give it to something else. Mm. Like the barf in the ceiling, just create something really gross. I just, I it's, mean, it's still stuck to the floor, man. Oh, you can't pick it up. It's stuck to the floor. I see. Isaac is good. Isaac is. Uh, hey, hey, everybody in the chat. <laughs> what object in this room has Josh yet to examine? Is it the clock? Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Oh, there's something funny about it. Something funny about that clock. Uh -huh. Literally the last thing. <laughs> Who knows, man? Ah, uh, joke. It's like Looney Tunes, except the character pauses for ten minutes at a time to examine everything in the room. Yeah, great for comic timing. Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. The adventure of tentacles here. Mm. Actually, until one of them tried to take over the world, had to tie the little mothers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Mm. Okay, you're free to go. I already knew about the tentacles. Thanks, Bernard. You did. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well... What 
possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping Labrat! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you mentally milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Plot. Plot. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! Hmm. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Uh, it's like they forgot to put the jokes in. <laughs> Joke adjacent is a good way to describe it. Yeah, it's it's clever. I think that it shares this... I think it shares this with all other Double Fine games. Yeah, I guess so. It's sort of been my experience. Mikey Allen has jokes. Sort of. I don't think so, actually. I mean, it does. The very first one, perhaps. My favorite, yeah, the first one's the only one I've played. Mm -hmm. But uh, that whole fencing game, that's jokes. That's jokes? Yeah, it's, it's an entire game about finding the punchlines for jokes. Uh, I suppose so. So you need genuine jokes. With like punchlines. I don't know. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. I just want it to be funny. <laughs> there, there are many ways to achieve that. That's true. After all, he is a doctor. It works. I can't believe it. And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh, that's a joke. That's a joke? That's a joke. He even got his own music cue. Yeah. That's a joke. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Dark Veracity. Hello. Hello, Spider Rumor. Ah, that's a joke. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have fought a real. Diamond. I'm not sure I can tell you what you missed, Dark Veracity. <laughs> uh, we set a tentacle free. This is literally the beginning of the game, but we set a tentacle free. It was an evil tentacle. Mm. And now there's some time travel shenanigans happening. I guess I'm gonna have to find a new diamond. Yes, that's objective number one. Is the plot this madcap all the way through? Just, um, yes. Okay. No, I mean, like, there's a connection between the two events so far, but it's a fairly tangential one. Right, know? yeah. We found the secret layer is in the grandfather clock. Yeah. And that we've been, uh... We've been critiquing the jokes ever since. But I don't think we've been critiquing the jokes no, so much no. as we've been pointing out that they exist. I've been mentally critiquing them. I don't want to talk over the dialogue too much. Well, that's why we put the subtitles on. Yeah. Although the, the the voice acting is pretty... Is... If I talk over it, I'm not going to have any idea what anybody's saying. Which well, yeah. might be sort of important. Okay, so to recap for Josh, yes. because we were we were talking over the plot. Um, uh, uh, your friends are stuck in time. Yep, the future, in the future right? In the future and in the past. Okay. So in order to get your friends back from the future and the past, um, you have got to uh, both find... Uh, batteries that they can use to plug in their uh, it looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. their time machines, and also a diamond. You have to acquire a diamond so that uh, 
you can run the central time machine thingamabob. Okay. Dr. Fred? You wanna hear? So the way that you're going to accomplish these shenanigans is that you're going to Yes. The triangular man. The sundry times, that's a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Triangular man is actually a pretty good joke, I think. Why? I, I like the I like the idea, triangular man. It's good. Huh. It made me think of Triangle Man from Particle Man. That's it's that's they might be giants in this kind of show, just kind of the same LU, wouldn't you say? Yeah, maybe. In terms of uh joke type. No way. There's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Hey, look at that. What? Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? That was a clue. To a thing that there's no way that we're gonna get to. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's clues all over the place. Okay. There's so many clues There's in this game. There's things in there that look like they've been in there for years. Is it something besides ice? Hey. Mm -hmm. I can't specify what kind of clue it is. Let's go into the woman's bathroom. What? That's not the women's bathroom. What is it? <laughs> it's W. W. W and R, I see. Yes. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't disturb him. No, probably not. So, like... Yeah? Oh, look at that. You got a Chivo for closing the door behind you. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm, pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. What's in here? Oh, you just closed the door. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my... Oh my god. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. It's... Just gonna watch him do it. I like the that was a visual gag. Yeah, the uh, moist noise that happens yeah. with it is, I think, the best thing about it. Swipe, nice. You know what? It never occurred to me throughout the entire time that I played this game to wonder what what the letters on those doors meant. <laughs> What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, yeah, see, that's the plot I thought we'd be focused on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, Bernard? Ah, oh. uh, yes. You haven't seen Dr. Fred's plans for a super battery around? No, just these world domination plans of Purple's. Any of Fred's plans would probably be in his office or the lab. Wanna help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. <laughs> See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man. Solid. Oh, you're so conscientious. <laughs> now, where did Dr. Fred go? Oh, man. We're definitely nearing that moment you asked about. <laughs> this is the point where <laughs> Josh would have quit. This is the point where Josh would have quit. It's just... Hey, aren't you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes. Ennui seeps in. <laughs> yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mm, no, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. All right. Mm -hmm. So here, so here's the here's the question, Josh. Mm -hmm. If this is going to be that painful for you, mm -hmm. do you want to? Should I do it and you provide commentary on the logic involved? No. Oh, we're <laughs> we're, we're sticking with the premise. Yeah. All right. All right. I can't I can't see myself providing any commentary on the the logic. I can only mm. I can only account for my own my own experience here. So what are you up to these days? We'll see. We'll see. 
The suffering has begun already. <laughs> I'm sorry, I sound pain. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. So they couldn't afford Tim Curry at this point in time. <laughs> Not even all that Star Wars money could have afforded them Tim Curry. <laughs> Rumble Squad has always been Grumble Squad. <laughs> if you look back at our first episodes, it was entirely Grumble Squad. Whack, whack, whack. Talk to computer. Hello, little computer. Nice touch. You, even though you've only got 64K of memory. Joke. Joke. It's like a Big Bang Theory joke. Yeah. The right. joke is that he knows thing about computer. Yeah, no, you you Oops. you opened it. <laughs> you opened it twice. I didn't have to close it twice. Uh huh. That button does whatever it contextually should do. Use door. Hello. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather. Shay, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? I want to play Kentucky Route Zero sometime. I haven't yet because I don't like adventure games. I've played Kentucky Route Zero. I don't like it. I prefer this kind of adventure game. Interesting. Look, that's a Monkey Island joke. Three point. It's a joke because it's a reference right. to the other thing. You've absolutely zoned in on exactly the aesthetic Fuck. of it. God, this is wearying <laughs> you so much. <laughs> oh, I feel like a vampire. I, I, am I trying to keep a technical from conquering the world right now? I am, because I'm trying to get the time machine to work so we can prevent... Yeah, but you're, you know, you're trying to get your friends back. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Might as well tell you the truth. I knew there was no reason to be secretive. <laughs> Hello, here we go. Better now than he sleepwalking. These are important clues. Are they? Yeah. Oh fuck, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> That's the trouble with me in these games. I can't I cannot like retain enough focus on them to learn anything I'm supposed to learn. Um fuck. What what did she just say? The guy sleepwalks. He sleepwalks, yeah. There's a problem with the financial situation, the family financial situation. He feels guilty over it, and so he's been sleepwalking. I'll do my very fucking best to remember all of that. <laughs> it's okay. important information for the plot. What's, wrong, what's wrong with sleepwalking? Something in the oven. The oven has a combination. Am I following correctly? Uh, you seem to have picked the word oven <laughs> out of screams like a cat in the oven. Oh, and I then... thought I thought she said she kept he kept opening and closing. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> is... I'll let her get back. I'm gonna go look for a safe or an oven. It's a game about paying attention to boring dialogue. That's literally what it is. Oh my god. Oh no. This is the worst possible <laughs> game for you, man. I'm not even going to close your door. Oh god, already. Is there a safe up here? It's a room. I don't have the combination. I need to find the combination to a safe. Let's open the people if we can. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in there. Okay then. In that case, let's open it up. Let's take a nap. I wouldn't want to strain myself. No time for that now. I'm saving the must not. purple tentacle. I can see the roof and some Christmas lights. It's Christmas. Or the Christmas lights are a joke. Hmm. No, I don't think Equally the Christmas, I don't think the Christmas lights are a joke. <laughs> Will this be the first moment score where the person playing fell asleep? I mean arguably I fell asleep while playing Illusion or Gaia. Uh yeah, he <laughs> did, actually. 
I'm starting to remember why that wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I, the, the the amusement that I take in your suffering is it's a very private is, joke. It, yeah, it's not really. It's not doesn't immediately translate itself to the audience, and you know, might be mean spirited. It might be mean spirited. <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't have a better idea. I'm not exactly suffering. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I can't even like play it up the way another YouTuber would and be like, "Oh, fuck this game!" No, no, no. Oh, no. I'm having such a miserable time. <laughs> I'm just, you know, yeah, I'm not. I'm not particularly interested. That's all. <laughs> Light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. I guess. All right. Hey, All right. I feel like I searched the entire upstairs where the scientist went, and he yeah, didn't... he's not there. What? Okay. Retaliatory disinterest. What? Do you, the, does the audience think I'm being pointed somehow? No, 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 no. It's 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 a survival mechanism. <laughs> I should do more voices. That is the key, isn't it? All right. Um, I looked at everything I can be asked to look at. What is the thing I'm supposed to look at? You're not giving me any hints. Do you want me to give you hints? Would that be preferable if I gave you hints? Would it uh, stimulate your interest glands if I gave you hints? No, but it might be less irritating to watch. Oh, uh, that's true. Well, let's look, let's look, let's open your inventory. Okay. How do you even do that? Yeah. And then, uh, okay, I can't do that. Um, let's open the door. This door? Oh yeah, my friend's no longer yeah. searching that whole place. A clown. Uzo. That's a good name for a clown. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Uzo. Mm. Grating, fireplace, funny glasses, That's pretty bunch, good. bunch of cups, a cigar lighter. Let's pick it up. We now have the ability to create fire. Hey, oh no. You and the clown were having a party? <laughs> no, no, last night! <laughs> Kyle Lint and I are on a wavelength. <laughs> Being rude about video games isn't what streaming is all about. It's about finding what there is to enjoy in the video game, Josh. Has anyone ever told you you like Don Quixote? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? I'm trying to figure out why Don Quixote would look like this guy. What's in the swan basket silhouetted in the hallway foreground? Yeah, I thought about that. It didn't seem interactive. What's Maybe in I'm... the swan basket silhouetted in the hallway foreground? Is it important? What's in the swan basket? <laughs> I, maybe I'm, I'm just really enjoying this sentence. <laughs> I don't believe there's anything in the swan basket. Maybe I don't want to ask him any of these questions. Well, then maybe you got to run. Oh, wait, here's an important looking one. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Battery? I would know about anything like that. I'm just a novelty good distributor specializing in cigars. So, want a cigar? Ooh. Sure, we'll leave one of those Havana babies on me. It's a cigar lighter. You know this. No, you know this. Hmm. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Congratulations. It's the pacing of this that really gets you. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get, that just gets how you long? Miserable. Just how long? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. This game kind of hates you. Yeah. It definitely kind of hates you. Do you want a uh, Do you want an indication of of how it kind of hates you? Yes, please. I've, I've, I've already got it, though. Okay. <laughs> I already feel like I have a, a terrible relationship with this game. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, do you want to know where the plans are? Sure. They're on uh, Dr. Fred's plan board in his basement where you just were. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's go check it out. That's, that's the joke. That's the kind of joke this game likes. Let's go check it out. Landboard. <laughs> Christ Almighty says all. Yeah, to do. There it is. Paper. Damn it! I should have. I 
should have, I should have. And there he is. See? Yeah. It's and the they fucking, fucking it lampshades it, yeah. That's a tough one, huh? No, no nice. Time. Using the highly sophisticated time block hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogon, you can flush more. The pixels are superior, aren't they? Isn't that true in every case, right? I'm not sure that the pixels are superior. I guess they do have more charm. It's hard for me to tell. Hello. I would I would call this like twenty percent charming. And this? 25%. Okay, so it's it's a it's a minor charm increase, but a charm increase nonetheless. I mean, it's certainly true that the best uh, cave story is the first one. All of the subsequent uh, remasterings only served to make it less good. Mm. But Cave Story was designed in an era where there were other options than the pixel aesthetic. Right. And therefore, it was meant to look like it looked. And the more representative it looks, the less good it looks. Yeah. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. But this. The old. The new music is an improvement. No, the music is exactly the same as it used to be. No, it isn't. You can hear it change when I press the button. Oh! You're right! How about that? It's just like updated patches, though. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So you can switch back and forth between being Bernard and Hoagie now. Fascinating. Entirely new world, words, to, worlds, words to explore. What does Bernard gotta do? Uh, Bernard has to find a diamond to power the thing. I see. Hoagie has to find. Uh, if I know this game, the diamonds in the outhouse. Huh, this door appears to be locked. I hope he says that about every locked door. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Ye oldy outhouse. Mmm, kumquats. The most funny fruit. Well identified. The jokiest fruit. It's such a specific fruit for it to be. Yep, yep, yep. And for him to identify so effortlessly. Uh, the father of our country is gazing out at me. Wow. This guy's voice actor is a champ. <laughs> I can't reach it. Oh, come on, try. No. <laughs> none, of these, none of these characters are going to expend any effort on your behalf. <laughs> Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Yeah, I recognize her from history. Yeah, you were you, you you know the joke. I think you know the joke. Yeah. It's totally covered with crud. Making it dirtier won't help. That's a joke. Yeah, but a joke. I, I can see his butt crack. How much better is the butt crack now than it used to be? The butt crack is very present even in this point at this point in time. Yeah. It's more present now, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a it, high they're, resolution. They're both shadows. Ooh, the Pony Express. Good joke. Good joke. Good joke. I did it. There you go. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably right. Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Do I? Who's that? What? <laughs> Let's try it. Him. 
Lean into it. Lean into it. This dude's gonna have a punchline. He's gonna say something back. Nah, he's not. Where is he? I know some dudes in a band who need roaches for hats like that. I'm, I do want to know where this of is going. They probably eat roaches anyhow. You're experiencing the joke right now. Yeah, I am. They're like that. I'm a wash in a joke. Yeah. Why would I say that, either of those that things? That whole experience was a joke. Whoa. That entire experience oh, was a joke. Oh, you ran out of options. You <laughs> ran out of options. Can't talk to him anymore. Hello, John. It's John Hancock. What are you afraid of? Yo. Hello. What's up? You got the hiccups? Are you petrified of public speaking? No. I'm freezing. <laughs> I kind of like that joke. Cool. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't because he needs the law for posterity and won't part with it. Um, posterity? Do, oh, dude, does he think charity? Posterity is charity? There's roots. No, it's uh, posterity. Well, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. There's a joke. There's the joke. That's the non-joke, and then the third one is also a joke. Right. Yeah. Who'd want a poster of a log? It's a very weird choice letting you choose the funny thing to say and then you're rewarded by getting to listen to it. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a, 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 a writing the Porky Pig. A constitution for the United States. And Dudley do right. Don't say draft, you'll only make me. Uh, genuine joke. Wim. Oh, let's loop it. Well, I John. <laughs> I'm leaning into it's it. It's not in the spirit of the thing. Are you sure it's not? I'm pretty sure. Josh. Is there a skip? Oh no. No! <laughs> I'm just waiting for one of the jokes to make me laugh. It might Many happen. It lines. might happen. I can't rule it out. <laughs> Time capsule. That could be useful. Oh. It looks like a martini shake. <laughs> Backspace is skip. Good to know. Thank you, sir. you what was in it, not what the nature of it was. Later, Idiot. What? What's going to happen later? Uh, misunderstanding joke. Mm -hmm. Based on time. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, you're like George Washington. What's the punchline? I am be? George Washington. Like him, to my wife, That's a better... That's a better response. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually genuinely funny that you can spend this time ragging on George Washington. There's an entire conversational path where you can do that. Which one's ragging it's, on? You, you lost it. Uh. Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you think I should be the... Oh, 90s joke! Oh my. 
That's a George Herbert Walker Bush reference, if I'm not mistaken. Joke. Depends on how many cherry trees you chop down. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful prowess. I bet you lost it. You could cut down a tree to save your grand. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there is a only a come tree. Right. Are you beginning to get the uh, the vernacular of this game? Shall I paint the kumquats red? Yeah, exactly. Now you just uh, have to figure out a means by which to do that. Yes, very good then. Perhaps, Nicely done. I bet there isn't going to be any red paint in the past. I bet it's going to be in the future. I, I think that you might be correct. I don't know. Uh, it might be in the present even. You have an ex oh right. You have I mean the future explored. relative to um, when we are not. Uh, we haven't made well, contact man. with the future yet though. Yeah. It's true. Uh, let's just take a quick peek. No, let's. How do I get back to the? Get, let me get get out of here. <laughs> if I switch to the, the other character rapidly enough, it's almost like not playing the game at all. <laughs> really? I don't know why I need him to cut down that tree. Yeah, no, no. no the game is just suggesting that you do by right. having characters speak. Yeah, yeah. Pretentiously very... about getting into it, just like Edna was talking about sleepwalking and. Uh... Oh. There you go. That's why you got to cut down that tree, Josh. Oh. Prevent that tree from ever existing. Yeah, now you're getting it. All right. Show me the red paint. All right. I wonder where the red paint is. Let's go over here. Olive really is not into this game. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand, Chad, if you're into this game. Yeah, we could definitely do something else if this has negative entertainment value for you. I'm still enjoying it, personally. Many blinking lights doesn't do it, of course. <laughs> That's kind of red. It's definitely kind of red, but it's undifferentiated <laughs> as an object with the, the amount of party garbage, therefore mm. it doesn't exist. Oops, oops. Someone's actually enjoying our commentary. Oh, okay. Okay. Shrug. Kind of outdated. <laughs> <laughs> this entire genre is kind of outdated. Let's just this see. This entire real. experience is kind of outdated. <laughs> um, what well, can you do in here? Surely nothing ever. No, I mean, something eventually. Rooms That's don't exist God. for just no reason. Hi there. God. He smiled. You ever see that YouTube video of, um, of, um, 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 um there's this dude who... And BL correctly points out that this represents a bunch of people doing their best. Yes. Correct. What? The quality is actually uniformly high. Yeah, this is probably the best one of these that exists. Salmon Max Hit the Road might be better. Monkey Island 1? Monkey Island 1 is funnier. And uh, are you telling me that jokes isn't the main the main <laughs> thing going on in this game? That's true, but I would say that the reason that the jokes in Monkey Island are funny is because they didn't have the technology to express why they wanted them to be funny, and so the affectlessness of them is what makes them work. They work even with the voice acting in the remake, though. Uh, not sure about that. What YouTube video? Oh yes, that guy had a had a channel for I think it's still running where he seemingly every day just spends an hour or two cross-legged grinning at his camera. Oh yeah, yeah that one. And uh, this this kind of this reminds you of that. This channel took us something reminded me of this. I no longer remember what it was. Oh, it was the man sleeping with the camera on him. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, no red paint. But yeah, something happened where. 
someone seemingly broke into his house while he was filming one of those and opened the door to discover a man sitting cross-legged, cross-legged in an empty room gr- grinning at a camera and just immediately peaced out. <laughs> I remember. Who, who knows if it, it was staged? I mean, it, the, it was excellent, whether it yeah. was staged or not. So, no red paint. No. You can uh, open the door and go outside. Oh, my God. Open the front door and go outside. A mummy holding something. Yeah. A bird bath. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. He looks like a tall, mummified Dr. Fred. Who's Dr. Fred? Hey, Ted. He's the little scientist guy you've been talking to. Ever, eh, Ted? Uh. Uh. Whew. Well, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. Oh, are you going to talk to him for a while? Why not? I'm sure it'll be a fucking riot. Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend, Koki. Jerus, there's only one mummy. <laughs> Just in different time periods? Yeah. You haven't changed a whole lot. What is with him, though? Well, I'd best be on about I mean, saving the world. he's a mummy. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah. He's holding a bird bath. He's a dead mummy. Yeah. It's in the mailbox. It's inside the paint. It's empty. Oh. Yep. Hi, Monica. Hey, Monica. Oh, we can go all the way to the parking lot. Hey. Why does the car don't say Zach? Like I don't know. What are you up to? <laughs> See, that's funny. Uh, I, that's a uh, that's a, a that's a funny question. And the, he's doing a Jack Nicholson impression. That's funny, right? I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. Better find his keys, Josh. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, uh, not his keys, but out, keys. Because he lost his keys somewhere. I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Hmm. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I would need it for. Yeah. Probably something yeah. at some point. If you see an object, you're probably going to need it at some point. <laughs> That's the idiom. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I can't go on. <laughs> I've looked everywhere. There wasn't any paint. I don't even know that the game wants me to be looking for paint right now. Yeah, no. Paint is just on your objective list. Possibly it's unobtainable right now. Maybe you need to do something else first before you can get the paint. I just have to go and click through everything. Listen yeah. to all the unfunny jokes. It's entirely possible. I don't know if those jokes are unfunny or not. What do you have to say, Dr. Fred? Hey, Dr. Fred. We have to do something. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. That's a pretty funny joke. No, it isn't. Because his idle animation is hand, wringing his hands. You're, they're, they made a thing, that, and then they're pointing out that they did the thing. They're making the meta jokes for you. They're doing our job. It's not even a meta joke. It's just it's an observation. It's an observation. It's observational, but not all things observational are automatically observational. Comedy. All right, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the driver's seat. I'm going, to, I'm going to to spare you from this. Yeah, speed run this game for me, please. <laughs> all right, all right, let's swap, please. Let's see if I can. I don't fucking remember where the red paint is. Yeah, do you remember? If, uh, you told me you knew this game. You told me you could do it blindfolded. Yeah, I did. I was probably lying. <laughs> that's, uh, that switching sides uh, method was so complicated. <laughs> Ocean Strider, I, I, I think that um, I view it as helping Josh to understand what's going on here. I understand what's going on perfectly. Do 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 do
Would you look at that? Can you slip down there? What's happening? Uh, it looks like we were a little frozen. How come? Who knows? It looks like, uh... Did I fucking break it? You might have. Oh, no. Could be the old computer crash coming back. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if folks can still hear us. That'd be a good question. Hey, folks, say something if you can still hear us. Uh, let me, give me that mess. Alright. I'm gonna... Okay, we're not completely fucked. Um, <laughs> well, we all just cracked up, which suggests that... Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and... Cl ha Do you have to manually save this game? I, I certainly hope that they that they are do not force it. Yeah, it's frozen. Is it? They can hear us. We're closing the game. There is no other way around it. All right, all right. We are probably still streaming our audio. Yep, okay. We are oh, cool. relaunching the game. All right. Yeah, correct. Here's auto, the save. auto save. Auto save, auto save. Good enough. Okay, Sweet. let's hold on, hold on. Are we streaming again? Yep, we we're are. We're streaming again. Perfect. Everything we recovered seamlessly. Oh okay. my god. Thanks, everybody. Computer doesn't like Isaac. That's true. <laughs> I so do screw things up. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. I have to do. The How do you like again. this game so far, Monica? It sure is wacky, isn't it? <laughs> I don't like that you can't solve anything. <laughs> Look, all these loose ends. It makes me very frustrated. There's a reason. There's a reason for everything. Everything has its time. I've got to chase this these chattering teeth around right now. That's what I gotta do. Come on, come on, come on, teeth. There you go. Had to trap the teeth. See, now they're trapped teeth. Huh. Having trapped the teeth, I'm gonna pick up the teeth. Huh. Why did I do that? I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna go up the chimney. All right? Cool. It's a crank. Can I take the crank? Can take the crank. Can I go in the window? Yeah, I can go in the window. Cool. Olive's laptop crashed too. Really? Isaac's in driving now. He's been doing a lot of stuff that hasn't been paint. Yeah, no, we we've, got some, we've absolutely he not picked up a health help wanted sign. He picked up some shattering teeth by trapping them in a vent. We've absolutely not found any. He's now picking up decaf coffee like some kind of philistine. Fuck. Oh, but he's picking up the real coffee too, and a fork. Yeah, picking up the fork. Huh. I'm not touching it. Oh, really? He's not touching it. Ooh. Gross. <laughs> what are you talking about? Gross. Hey, a funnel. Are there any of these games, asks MBL, who, where stuffing everything you can interact with into your pockets is like bad, like counterproductive? <laughs> that would just be extra hateful. Yeah, like, you don't really need to subvert this genre. This genre is doing a fine job of subverting itself, I feel. Yeah, but like, what if putting right. the teeth next to the... Oops. How do you open up the inventory, Josh? Funnel. I. I. Made right. someone unhappy. That's an excellent question. Or this teeth next to this spaghetti. What's in here? Where is he storing all this stuff, asks Josh. That's exactly the kind of joke. It's a joke. That could be in this game. <laughs> Where am I storing all these things? No, better yet, he would have some goofy answer for where he's storing it. Like... In my butt crack! Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, <laughs> in Hoagie's case, it's clearly his, like, capacious... It's funnier than any of the jokes in the game. No! <laughs> Monica, you've, you've exceeded the, the standards so thoroughly and so completely By already. saying, in my yes. butt crack! <laughs> <laughs> oh, butt cracks. <laughs> Look, here's some butt crack action. Ah! ah, excellent butt crack action. Alright. Cool, that's a hint. 
Hmm. I'm just picking up everything, man. I need hey, to pick up. No one can stop you. Oh. employees are allowed to use that lab. Oh. oh, really? Okay, hang on a sec. So hire me. <laughs> Let's see. Your inventory looks full, bro. It's not full. Bro. I'll just run to the chronogen. Wow, it takes care of it automatically. That's very friendly. There's yeah. something in the chronogen. Nice. Something in the chronogen. Cool, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Holland. Where's Koholent going? To the gym. Oh, that's a bit. Wow. What's like this? Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Sweet. <laughs> Just to do that. So these are the this is the plans, right? Yeah. You look at the plans, right? Yeah. These are the plans, right? We need oil, vinegar, gold, croutons, and lettuce. Pick but really. Cool. Oh, they were in the. What? Wait a minute. I don't fucking know. I don't care. <laughs> All right. I'm losing the plot. Are you? It's a plan for the super battery, Josh. Right. Oh, yeah, so yeah. this guy's gonna make it in the past. Cool, I'm gonna give him the oil. Hey, Isaac, cool. you can hit one, two, three to switch characters. Cool. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. It is. Good job, everybody. We are. Meanwhile. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. <sighs> uh, why did it cut to that? Because uh, they had that joke, but they needed. Yeah, it's, they needed a scene where two characters are talking to each look, other. Look, it's Sam from Sam and Max. That's a joke. It, I recognize him. Yeah. I used to play poker with that guy. Oh yeah, that's right, you did. That's your, um... That is your major interaction with this sort of thing. Whoa, did you hear the comedy sound effect that made? It was a straight up ooga. Oh, she's an Irish washerwoman. Okay, cool. I brought her out here so I could steal the soap off of her cart. Hello. Whoa. It didn't work. Oh no. Oh. You have to make it even messier in there. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's a joke. That one makes me hurt inside. Here. There you go. Uh, I did the I did the thing that I needed. That joke's gonna laugh out of my head. <laughs> I like to see. Yeah. All right. Things working. <laughs> he said that Backspace was the skip, right? And it doesn't appear to work, huh? No, that's a plot-related one. Uh, I gotta steal the soap now. Not what if you close the door first? Yeah. Oh, you're fine. Oh, look, Here. that's what it took. There <laughs> you go. Close the door anyway. Can I push her, her uh, cart down the stairs? Blend in as hotel oh, service. I'm, sure. I'm, like, uh, super unhappy that that's not an option. Hey, it's Bessie Ross. Man, that guy, what? like, sleeping in that room in utter squalor in the present, yeah. has no idea. He has <laughs> that no this... idea that it's George Washington's. There you go. Room. That is definitely... I don't want to tell her I've got another design change for the flag. I don't have another design change. Try a period for skipping dialogue, it says. Hey, that worked. Could it have a chrome-plated bald eagle robot on it? <laughs> I didn't say it the same way. Yeah, he said it pretty close though. It wasn't bad. What the heck? At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Cool. That's cool. It's bottle one. I'm gonna pick up the bottle one. Hey, that looks important on the wall. What? What, what does? What uh, the kite plans. You want to look at the kite plans? Yeah, Are we going to play this game together now? Hey, 
What's that on the plan? It looks like a secret backwards message. <laughs> Whoa. It's just a coffee thing. Solid. Uh, Joke. Oh, they got gotcha. you. Hey. It's an horse. It's a scene from a Kafka story. Uh, that's true. Oh. Question is, which one's stuff and which one's a real McCoy? And are you sure you that we are both real? Drost, yes, that is Franklin's room. Good job. Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Oh, that's what the letters mean in the present. Even our dear father uh. can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. <sighs> so, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? It's a fat joke. Yep, it's a fat joke. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Oh, what a bunch of assholes. If only there was a way that I could uh, get one up on them. I'm not getting it. Hey, look, Josh. Hold on. Yeah. What? I just wanted to see the pixel cat. <laughs> is it? I think the pixel cat has been improvement, probably. All right, we get we found the red paint. We did. Yeah, like oh. he's just sitting there in the past all the time. Fucking fuck. fuck. What made you think that you know red paint was more likely to be in the present than the past, man? I don't know. Uh, such a shame. I don't know. <laughs> I'm struggling to have any thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like it's like. What is it like? It's like absolute. It's like being in a. It's like being nowhere at all. Right. This it's just it's just absolutely empty. <laughs> oh man. I spent so much of my childhood playing games like this and thinking about things like this. I mean thank you for buying me this game. I hope it didn't cost you too much. No, if it cost me too much I wouldn't have done it. Here. You can do this. Do 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 Only Hoagie can make a tree. Is that a joke? Um it's a reference to only God can make a tree, which is a poem. I think it's like something else and is therefore funny. I see. Hey, dude, it's like cannibalism. Hmm. W what is he eating? A hoagie, probably. It's an idle animation. Hmm. We got an achievement for not doing anything long enough for there to be an idle animation. <sighs> you know what? This is actually draining my will to live also. <laughs> I'm like having a really hard time. The, the whole fucking purpose of this game is to make you walk everywhere yeah. and click on everything. Yeah. Until you can figure out the order in which to do those things. That's correct. It's really dull. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I think this would be a good idea? Monica, you gotta help us. I She's, do not. <laughs> She's eating my licorice. That's I the opposite of helping. That's actually hurting. You want some licorice, Isaac? Mm. Yeah, I like the liquor. All right, you guys, this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible mistake. There are no puppies in this game. There's a cat. There is a cat, that's true. Uh, but me. there wasn't even a pet the cat button. Hey, what's the joke about the turkey pan? Can you make a comment on it? There was a joke about the turkey pan? I'm wondering if there is one. I, okay, well, I... Do you want me to f have him finish? Yeah, yeah, do all this. Alright. I've heard good things about Night in the Woods. I haven't played it yet. Mm. Chances are I'm not going to because of it's, my relationship with like this sort of thing. Games, yeah. maybe, I can't uh, imagine why. Maybe a future artistic adventure games are just the thing, though. Mm. Really? We can move directly from this to Kentucky Route Zero, see if it helps. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just stick this out a little bit longer and then be done for the night. There you go. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this. I would say yes to Kentucky Red Zero if I had it installed. Installing a game midstream, not a good idea. Mm. There you go. Um, ah, yes, the tree. It disappeared. I remember we figured that out before, but then I forgot. Ah, cool. Continuity. 
What are the consequences of this game's parameters for time travel logic? Um, they're slapstick mostly. You have to do like uncomfortable things that, that really alter the fabric of time for everybody involved to to uh, solve the game. This is the model for time travel that doesn't have an answer to what happens if you kill your own grandmom. Because you can't be born to kill your grandmom. Oh, uh, that's right. I was going to look at the turkey painting and see if there was a joke attached to it, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's an unlikely kind of painting to be in this building in time period. That's true. It's not even an it's, object. Oh, it's not even an object. It's it. invisible. There's nothing. It's just, that isn't a thing. That right there is a joke. That is a true joke. Okay, look. It's so, a funny piece of scenery that doesn't have anybody saying anything stupid about it. Okay, so, right? Yeah. So, there, here's a problem, right? John yeah. Hancock is cold. That's true. Okay. Yeah. You're with me so far? Mm, he's cold, yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a problem that the game has given us that is like relatively easy to solve. Okay, so how I'm going to solve that get, that problem is I'm going to go... Chop down the cherry tree. Chop down the cherry tree. Oh, you already did? Yeah, it didn't provide us with any wood. I'm going to open the mailbox. I'm going to take this letter, okay? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Cool. It's a letter for Ben Franklin. Yeah. Right? I'm going to take this letter. I'm going to give it to Bernard. I'll use the chronogon. I assume that letter was for the flight design lady. Are you kidding me? <laughs> she wasn't making any of the designs. She was just sewing. Oh, uh, yeah. You remember that? I guess I do. I can't remember I her name now. Betsy Ross? That's the one. Okay. I'm going to give the letter to this guy. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? How on Probably earth were you supposed to know to hand it to him? He's because he, he's, oh, yeah. he's, he's sad. Right. You're brilliant. What a novel design. It makes perfect it sense. It does make a bit of sense. Mm -hmm. There you go. He's just going to show up at Baltimore. Yeah. And kill himself there <laughs> <laughs> when nobody meets him at the airport. Yeah, there's a, there's a there's like a there's it's part of the the overall aesthetic of like whimsical cruelty. Can you play as Laverne now? Uh yeah, I could. You want me to? No. All right. <laughs> keep, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, so I got I I had to I had to give him false hope for his ruined life in order to get my hands on his novelty pop up gun. Right. <laughs> now, next step is I'm going to take the novelty pop up gun. I'm gonna switch it with a cigar lighter. Oh my god. That guy looks like Benjamin Franklin. He does not. Huh? There we go. The the joke is that when you meet Benjamin Franklin and the other thing, he looks exactly like this guy. That's the joke yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Next. Next piece of business, right? Cigar salesman. Buddy. But he also looks like Don Quixote. The the joke there is that Bernard can so just a whole lot of people who aren't Benjamin Franklin, it looks like. There, he's Don Corleone this time. Uh, That's fine. Nice cigars. Nice cigars. That's a decent show. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> I will keep it. Dead love, dude. <laughs> All right, cool. I got the exploding cigar. I'm going to give it to Hoagie. I also have got the chattering teeth. I give it to Hoagie. Are you beginning to see the plan coming together here? No. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. You're going to start a fire with the exploding cigar? I've only been like half paying attention to anything you've done you understand i mean this is i mean how can you understand how the, the well like what is good about this game what the important thing about this game is if you're not paying attention to the subtle ways in this which these things come together here i'm going to give an exploding cigar to george washington yes mr president may i offer you an excellent smoke can you also provide me with a light no whoops Pity. See, that's arbitrary and cruel right there. Alright, let's do this now. Excuse me. 
you go. Ah, somebody twigged. Somebody has twigged it. What? Gee, I gotta go. Now. Someone knows where this is going. Yep, somebody knows where this is going. Here. Excuse me. Yes. Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? You bet. Sure. Well, in that case. Still not, still not getting the, the nub of my gist here. Oh, that was good. Blush, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lie. Are exploding cigars real? Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, at least not in cartoons. Yeah, you can make them. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. <laughs> Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look. The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's how you start uh, fire. I guess you can have my dog. There you go. It made me smile. <laughs> he smiled. He smiled. Hey, Guys, he smiled. <laughs> Hang on, there's a... No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, Dog Lord lover. lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. Do, 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 mm, do, do, do. Oh. Hey! Big baby. Cool, we did it. One of those annoyingly exultant laughs at somebody else finally failing to hide their amusement. <laughs> Hang on, my phone's ringing. Yeah, it is. Uh, I can't answer this call right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why did that happen? What do you mean, why did that happen? Why did we go through all that? Why did we build a fire? It wasn't just to make John Hancock warm, was it? I'm sure yes, it there's was. some reason. Let's look at the smoke detector. Yes. That's a, that's a hint that that exists. Sure. Tell you what. Oh, the blanket. Oh, the blanket. I have the blanket. Now look, gold-plated pen. Yeah. We need gold, oil, and vinegar, right? We do. Yeah, you remember that part? No. <laughs> exactly. See, Monica's tracking this. <laughs> we need gold, oil, and vinegar for the battery. Take his blanket. Blanket the smoke detector. It says MBL. Burn the fucking house down. This game reminds. <laughs> this game reminds me of like being in a class in middle school that I, I didn't give a, a shit about, but which handed out like the most arbitrary assignments. Like I had a teacher who liked to like a science teacher who liked to hand out assignments that were just one of those like big blocks of letters with mm. words hidden in them and you had to find the science words among oh, the letters. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, no. It's, it's tough. This whole this whole thing reminds me of, of that a little bit. Just smoke them out. Ding ding ding. Bye. Okay. Who was the idiot who started the fire? That looks like a piece of meat hanging from a rope. That's true, it does. While I'm here... What? I'm gonna... gonna put it? What? Put what? In oh, the, the bed? Come on. There we go. <sighs> Who's dead? Where am I gonna put it? What you doing, Isaac? I want to move the mat this mattress over to the other mattress. Where am I gonna put Come it? Come on. Where am I gonna put it? Do I have to use this one? No. Where am I gonna put it? Oh, Where am I fucks. gonna put it? Where am I Where gonna, gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? For fuck's sake, man.
Well, I think I had. I had to turn it off and use the syntax. This is important for later things. I'm just doing it while I'm here. Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Huh? <laughs> Alright. Now. Gonna use squeaky mattress. Causing the cat to go up there and investigate the squeaky mattress so I can steal his toy. Huh. And then I'm gonna leave. That is precisely what I'm doing. I'm doing timeline maintenance. Wah. Cool. I like the horse. What's he look like in pixel mode? Probably the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a good horse. He's definitely a good horse. Alright. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Butt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ow. did you say butt? <laughs> Yeah. Did you yeah. say butt? I did. In my butt crack. <laughs> okay. I got the gold. Gold's mine. Wait, was talk to the horse an option? Yeah, talking to the horse Dude, was an option. Talk to the fucking horse. Oh, uh, hey, hang on. Pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Chimney. Yeah, I, I do remember. I did remember the three syllable chimney. That was a good line reading. Yeah. Next, do you have one earlier? Oh man, fomenting yeah. such uh, tension. Hey, catch you later. All right, I'll do. I will talk to the horse. But the first thing that we need is. Oh, poor man's cold again. <laughs> because the fire is out. It's like nothing ever happened except I stole a pen. Um, but so the last thing ingredient that we needed was vinegar, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do oh, is I'm, got that wine. yeah, I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this wine bottle to uh, Thomas Jefferson. Oh my god! Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight, and, and it will go back to the That years. is future generations are in your debt. That is incredibly oh. specific. If you, like this is a game for kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People, kids know that wine turns into vinegar if you leave it out too long, right? That's a thing that kids know. I don't think it's a game for kids necessarily, Josh. It's a game for kids. Give me a break. Oh, shit. Kids are the only people who could possibly find these jokes entertaining. Because <laughs> they have the shape of jokes, right? That's all you need. Computer people. Computer people come in most ages. Damn that Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Okay. So the the wine's in the future here. But I gotta get out of prison first. Oh, how how come the wine isn't in the present? Because I didn't see any time capsule in the present. You just gotta go dig it up, man. I don't know where it is. Whoops. Yeah, you're a little trapped in the, the little Star Trek brig there. I am. I wonder if I can talk my way out of it. I had to read oh, Sydney's defense of poesy for my course recently. And begins the part about a horseman talking about how great his job is and what a peerless beauty the horse was. The only serviceable courtier without flattery, the beast of most beauty, faithfulness, courage, and such more. <laughs> that strikes me as incorrect. So I was good. reminded of Mumble Squad. Thank you. Because we like horses. Uh oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. How'd you do that? I told him I was sick. Oh. Where, where? What have we here? Hey, that's the bad guy. I no. There's. This is an entire race of tentacles that he's sired. Oh. She's weird in a way that I can't really define. Yeah. What? 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 Just as I suspected. What? There's no 
nothing wrong with you, human. What? What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. <sighs> you get the joke. Wow. Humans are pets in this in this dystopian future. That's a joke? That's not a joke. It's the it's the premise. That's the premise. It's the premise. Yeah, I get the premise. I'm gonna do this. Weep. Okay. So I need to be able to look to wander around without getting caught. Yeah. And I'm a human out alone, so that's not gonna work. So you I need just to get sent back to the break every time and have to tell him you're sick every time. Or? Exactly. So in order to progress, I'm gonna need a costume. Where am I going to get a tentacle costume, Josh? Why are you asking me? <laughs> it's just a great. It's a. This is the. This is my literally. This is genuinely my favorite thing that, that happens in this game. Are you going to have Betsy Ross make you a tentacle costume? I am going to have Betsy Ross make me a tentacle costume, Josh. Wait a minute. What? How does she get to the Chronogon? I don't think she can. Sorry. What did you say? That she can't get to the Chronogon, surely. Did you? Actually, did you successfully hand that thing off? Oh, I have to figure out a way to get outside first. Without being caught. I can't confirm that she said that. You might want to double check if oh. you still have that thing in your inventory. You do. I can't get to the Chronogon from here. Oh, that's a good point. So I can't get me a tentacle costume. So... What can I do? If I leave the, the place, I'll be spotted. That's where the, the kennel is. I can't go in there. What's in here? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you scream? I yawned. No, nothing in there. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer about this game, you know? It's, oh, yeah? It's just... I don't know. I'm trying. Hi, I'm the... Holy, you are one ugly human. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Hmm. <laughs> Which one's funniest? Well, I must be ending the conversation. Way. It's and funny. I don't know how much more I could take. I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. <laughs> what is this, a beauty contest? Yes. Oh. Well, I don't know if you could really call a human show a beauty contest. But you should call it an ugly. Ah, oh, there you go. Ugly <laughs> You did it. You successfully examined the check. Human show. Hot dang, sign me up. Sorry, humans can't sign themselves up, no matter how ugly they are. Go ask your owner to sign you up. Ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it. Whoa. Oh my god, so hey, he many just insults. used the uh, non gender specific third person pronoun. That's true. Hmm. They'll never turn you in. They're good people. He might, though. He might. He looks like he might be a little interested in turning you in. I think if I try to walk out the door, he's going to turn me in. I've got to. Oh, uh, yeah, sit on the bench and he'll pass you by. Oh, maybe. What do I have in my inventory anyway? Nothing. Was that your switchblade? That was my scalpel. Alright. So I'm a med student? I think med student. Monica, can you guess what kind of voice this person has? How could I guess? I haven't even heard it. And well, that's why that's. I mean, there's an idiom that's already been established here. She hasn't heard any of the voices. Well, mm. she, she heard some, I guess, when she was watching. 
Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? How gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the air competition in the bag. Hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Keep in touch. Maybe what I need's in this room. Uh, Isaac's caught in the cycle now. Maybe. Oh, this is where I came from. <laughs> I don't remember how to do it. Isn't it amazing how how much this begins to feel to like a sheer it. cliff face when you don't know what specific thing you're supposed to do? I don't remember how to, to do it. I don't remember how to get out of it here. It could be any one of the seemingly if inconsequential things. If I walk things. out the door, he's going to catch me. There you go. He's going to catch you. Yeah. What can I do? Maybe about you it? have to do it in the past. Yeah. Hey, tell you what, if you prevent the tentacles from taking over the world, then Laverne's future will probably be a lot less inconvenient. Yeah, but that I'll have solved the entire game at that point. So I gotta Beep boop beep boop. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Cool. No, there must be a way. There must be a way. There must be a way. I can't open the fucking grandfather clock. He's right in front of it. You know what? If I find the mummy, I'm sure that'll solve the problem. I'm sorry, what? Nothing. Are you sure about that? This room isn't futured. No, this room is past. Past the point of recognition. Is the Twitch chat just gone silent on us? Yeah, or? I think. I mean, there's still apparently like a few people around, but. Maybe interacting with this guy is the answer. I couldn't be blind. Maybe you do need a name tag. Yeah, maybe I do. Bill is basking. Oh, good, good for you. Good for you. There's no way to open it. There's. Why would, there anyway? Why would you want to do anything? Ah, uh, man, that's important. But I, I'm, I'm really concerned with doing the thing that I want to do here. Oh, how about this? Uh, the guard guy wants to see you in the kennel. He said to just leave all your stuff here. Which guard? What's his name? I don't know. I usually call him Mr. Tentacle Guy. What a coincidence. That's my name. <laughs> of course not. Now beat it. I've got it. Alright, alright. You know that? You know that feeling of engagement with things you have when you're a kid? Or yeah. When you're watching the thing that's on TV and you're not enjoying it? Uh, you're yeah. not enjoying it at all? It's just like the of ad you. or the way it was marketed to you? or it just... Or the fa just the simple fact that it's yeah. on and why would they be showing you something that's that enjoyable? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you don't... It doesn't enter into your... your, your way of perceiving the situation that you might not be enjoying it. Hmm. it it's just kind of there and you're doing it. Nice. I don't miss that feeling. Oh, you don't miss that feeling? No. What's up? I like I like being able to identify when I don't like something. Hmm. Is that? Huh? All right. Why is why is why why is why why is he just letting you talk to him? Because I'm not trying to run away or anything. I'm, Are you I'm, sure I'm acting you have to do something in the future trends. right now. I want the fucking vinegar, man. Are you sure you don't have to do something in the past? But she it? can't get any items to in right now to, to do uh, anything yeah. different, unless. But you could change things about the future, like with the tree. Oh my god, you're right. That must be what I have to do. Is that what I have to do? I'm gonna do a bunch of other things and see if the, and see if this becomes a thing that I can do at some point. I mean. So I know what I eventually have to do with a bunch of this stuff, but none of it is relevant to the current problem. Well, of course it's on me. I didn't say it was on anybody else. Mm. Look at the tentacle. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Drost and MBL are having a disagreement. 
I'm going to advance Either this. Either that or she's disagreeing with what I said. Wait a minute. Wait, which one are you disagreeing with, MBL? The statement was the feeling whether or not you enjoy something is on you, Josh. And MBL says, I take issue with that statement, and I want to know what happens next. And nobody has said anything yet. But in the meantime... Hmm. What do I do in the meantime? True, you can be a total wet blanket. But stuff can be bad. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, tell you what. Yep. I'm gonna do a couple of things. Okay. Wow. This is loud. Well done. Thank you very much. How did someone barf on the ceiling anyway? It's fake vomit. Oh, right. Whew. Whew. Nicely Whew. done. That guy didn't know how to pronounce the word whoo. <laughs> All right. Nobody ever said anything about Art not being subjective, bro. You guys continue this conversation. <laughs> I've got a cruel prank to pull. I mean, um, it just seems as if you have some some point to make about what I said earlier. I'm not seeing it yet, though. I don't mean to belabor it, though, if it was a nothing. This is relevant. Must art be so cruel? How so? <laughs> I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. <laughs> Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Oh, but I have to do it to finish the game. I have to do it to finish the game, MBL. How did you sabotage the sculpture? I substituted a left-handed hammer for his right-handed hammer. Aha. Uh -huh. Have a cappuccino. Oh, whoa. Well, he... I'm glad we switched places. See? I think you're coming out quite well. Now, see, what I did there was now the statue is of his brother, who's other-handed, right? Right? You still with me, guys? Yes. I think I think you missed my point, Drost. I said that when I was a kid, when I didn't like something, I was unable to to comprehend that emotion. And I, now I just assumed that it must be good and that I wasn't getting it. Now, somehow. when I push the old lady down the stairs, she can't hold on to that arm because it's not there anymore. <laughs> yes. Let Isaac have filled in the second half of my statement there. <laughs> Uh, excellent. I'm glad that I managed to do that. Okay. I've been fully, I've been fully vampired by this game. I really there's, there's nothing left in me. I have no blood <laughs> anymore. No blood. Oh no. I'm as bloodless as these jokes. Oy. You guys, you guys. <laughs> all right, all right. Time for some horse interaction then. Hang on. I waited, but she never picked it up. Hope she's okay.
Have I found any self-knowledge from this game? I don't think... I don't think that... It's they, not a surprise to me. It's not a surprise to, <laughs> to anybody that Josh did not enjoy this game. All right. Let's uh, talk to... Talk to horse, shall uh, we? Hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. Yeah. That's a little familiar. Nice tea. Thanks. <laughs> I paid quite a bit for them. Hmm. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Why not? Should we flirt with horse? No, go with yes. did I mention how great your teeth look? Just okay, lean, cool. just lean into it. Your teeth look. Thanks again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. What's so nice flirt with horse. Like Solid question. I think that's probably fine. See you later. That's enough horse talk. I have to steal the horse's teeth, though. And in order to do that, I have to use textbook with horse. <laughs> the LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have anti-completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. So this this is a complete use every item on everything kind of puzzle, right? There's that's all that was, right? Well, I mean, at some point it would become clear to me that I had to steal the horse's teeth. But as for like the best way to steal the horse's teeth, that's probably a use every item on the horse until yeah. stealing his teeth is affected kind of a situation, you know? Yeah. <laughs> if Hoagie decides to stand in the spot where the tentacle is for the rest of a time, then the then, tentacle can't be standing there. Well, yeah, but he's oh, he's gonna die in the meantime. Well, he'll just make everybody around him understand that his dying wish is to remain in this spot. I'm sure I don't know. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Where is your owner? Oh, uh, I think I remember how to do this. Hey, hey, hey. You don't, you don't want to hear the dialogue? John, you don't want to talk to No, nothing. No. Having to threaten Harold. Not a bad idea, but <laughs> this isn't a good place to cause a scene. Yeah, good line delivery. Hmm. Can I talk to smiling Hi. people? Smiling people are not interested in talking to me. Threaten the tentacle with a knife. That's not gonna work out, is it? Why? Oh, you know what? I remembered how to do this. Just threaten every character with a knife. There should be an adventure game where the alternate solution to every single pro problem is to point a gun at it and mm. threaten it to go hey, away. Get, out. get back in there. I think I, Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. I think I remember how this goes. I think I remember what to do. Let's not bother them. They're busy. Dr. Fred, is that you? I'm gonna skip through this dialogue. If you're skipping dialogue, what are you even left with? What am I left with? Yeah. Where? Nice. What? Huh. Nope, never mind. That wasn't it. God damn it, what do I do? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Better keep walking around and clicking on stuff, I think. Okay. This, you know what this is? Yeah? This is my hubris. 
I'm being hubristed. I just gotta keep doing things until I remember. Do you think we call this stream in 15 minutes at the two hour mark? I mean, kind of. I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like we've accomplished so little here. Really on any <laughs> level. You know what? What are we gonna, what are we gonna do? Oh, uh, two entire mm -hmm. achievements for picking that one up. Cool. I guess one of them is for picking up a certain number of things. I remember a thing that I can do. Every room slowly fills with just loathsome familiarity. <laughs> All of these items that don't do anything, <laughs> taunting you. Alright, here, I'll do a thing. Stab him with a fork? No. Pour coffee on his head? No. You've given him decaf. Correct. The decaf is going to automatically make him sleepier. Yeah. Must open safe. Hey. Must sign contract. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Olive? How do I get out of the house? I see he's in here opening the safe over and over again and being horrified by its uh, contents. contents. Can you get them while it's open? No. Oh. You have to uh, film him and then play it back in slow motion. <laughs> Just a little sorry. Oh, fuck, you're absolutely right. How, how could I have missed something so simple? Let's do it. Um, It'll be exciting when we're at the next thing, so you can click on some more objects. Here's some more great jokes. <laughs> ah, there we go. LucasArts okay. adventure games are known for their killer sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you so cruel? <laughs> okay. Okay, look, I'm at the thing now. Yeah, you are. Because what I'm at the thing now. Oh, yeah, I can get... give this to. I can give this you're to him. You're gonna get Betsy Ross. I'm gonna get. Oh gosh. That is correct. I'm gonna get. I'm going. <laughs> no, shush. I'm gonna. I'm being entertaining. I'm gonna. That's entertaining. <laughs> yeah, people love voices. I was asked to do more voices. Okay, earlier. Josh, do more voices. <laughs> All right, look, 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 look at this. You. There. I've forever altered the design of the American flag. Fantastic. Everybody agreed that that was the best design submitted. Yes. That was a good joke. It's done now. Burp. Why did that make a gross burp sound? You clicked outside the window. I did. I clicked outside the window. Ah, uh, let's make our way to the roof of the house. Cool. You're gonna have to let that guy take you back to. Yep, yep, yep. Gotta do that, then I gotta talk to him, I gotta say I'm sick again. Yep. 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 Cool. Having altered the design of the American flag. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't pick up the fucking crank! Oh no, the crank. What crank? I can't get the fucking windsock off the thing if I don't give the fucking crank, so I have to do this. I have to go back through this. I'm gonna have to do this. This is the worst that they just hang added on, this whole hang, thing. Hang on. They added this awful hang on. little. No, 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 no. Hang on. I've got to do this. These... If loathsome familiarity isn't the idea, it then is the even... hilarity. It's cruelty to the audience. I swear to God, that is the point of this. But as a kid, you're absolutely right. There's a certain amount of Stockholm syndrome that sets sets in, right? And it's like, particularly with old video games, and I think this is true of my appreciation of pretty much every old video game. <laughs> you end up acculturating yourself to the repetition demanded. How did I possibly do that when everything else was so boring to me when I was a kid, huh? Yeah, yeah. There, I gave Crank to Laverne. You did it. 
I, while I'm at it, I'm going to give Laverne absolutely everything else from this timeline that she's going to need. She's going to need the fork, and she's going to need the fake barf. Hey, Hoagie, why don't you give her everything that you need that she needs from this timeline? What do you have that she needs? She's going to need the spaghetti. Cool. Uh, she's going to need the squeaky mouse toy. She's going to need the teeth. All right. Wow, she's equipped. Now I'm good. Happy familiarity is a real thing. <laughs> That's true. Uh, we could have a conversation about happy familiarity if we played receiver again on this channel. Oh yeah, that's your happy familiarity. Oh, you think that that I, it's a barrel of laughs watch for me watching you play that. <laughs> okay, the ca the uh, technical guard is fooled by our feigning illness again. This whole thing is done. I'm going to go up the chimney now. I hope that if I were to play Receiver, I'd enjoy it at least as much as you're enjoying this. <laughs> I am enjoying this. <laughs> Use Crank with Crankbox. Pull Crank. Do, 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 do. Pick up Flag. Use Flag. Costume Quest. It's a reference to a LucasArts game, that, or to a Double Fine game that hasn't even been made yet. Very good. They must have named that game after that achievement. They didn't have achievements when I was a kid. Receiver does not have explosions. I mean, they, there's showers of sparks at least. Yeah. Okay, now. This has explosions, it's true. Now that I'm dressed as a red, white, and blue tentacle, I can go... <laughs> Stupid tentacle. Yeah, I can go up the stairs. Stupid tentacle. <laughs> Oh, Mummy. Jesus. Goodbye. <laughs> you like the Great Scott. Star Trek. Sure, purple. Uh, um. Yes. Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. <laughs> That's a good joke. Anyone I know? That was a laugh. Oh, hey. I don't understand the follow-up. The follow-up the follow joke that was the actual joke was less funny than the joke joke. I don't even get the follow-up joke. Jesus Christ, here's the fucking time capsule. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to give her the can opener that... Oh, wait a minute. Who has the can opener? Somebody has a can opener. Didn't somebody have a can opener? He does. It's right there. There we go. He just has it. Yeah. He comes with it. Cool. Use can opener with time capsule. Oh, and it's gonna have the vinegar. How much, um... How much game is out of the way once you've made that battery? It's not... There's a lot to this game. Yeah. That's do, you, do you get out of this house at some point? No, no. It's all this house. It's all this house. Yeah. They should have called it House of the Tentacle. Should have called it Homestuck. Because it's certainly not a game set on any particular day. Hmm. Well, it's it's three days really. Right. So that, all of them are the day of the Tentacle in one way or another. Is that so? Mm, yeah. The tentacle isn't even present in the past. Present in the past? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask him if you can win the beauty contest in your costume. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in yes. the show. Why would we want to win the yes, beauty course. contest? Take these jags and put them on your human. On the bench in the lobby. The lobby. Be judged in three categories: best smile, best hair, and best lamp. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Cowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. Yowza. Jokes! Yowza. Yowza. 
cool. I can't enter myself into the contest, Josh. No, you need a human? I need a human. Where am I gonna find a human, Josh? Get Hoagie to get himself in the toilet. Can't do that, Josh. Damn it. Where am I gonna find a human, Josh? It's the mummy. It's the mummy, Josh. Or that Elvis lamp. Hi, my name is... What? <laughs> my name is... <laughs> Who? Dressing a tentacle as a human would have been very funny. It would have. Would it be as funny as that? At Hilarious. Least, at least as funny as that. It's an honor just to complete, compete. Alright. So, you guys. Yeah. The the human competition is judged in three categories. Yeah, best smile. Best, best smile, best hair, best laugh. The mummy, no hair, no smile, no laugh. Smile and laugh are such similar categories. Here. It's got a beautiful smile now. There we go. That's gonna be just fine. Cool. Um hair, 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 cool. Yeah. Hair is reasonable. Could be better. There we go. Yeah. Perfection. Wow. Yum. Where did the meatballs come from? That was uncooked spaghetti when we put it in the... <laughs> Never mind. Um, it's a joke. Uh, laugh. Need to figure out laugh. I wish we had a face cam for this. <laughs> really? You're enjoying it that much, huh? My, my looks of uh, bewilderment, I think, have had some value. I didn't even know that clown laughed. You, oh, you know what? I, I'm sorry, I, I hadn't realized you never actually punched the clown. <laughs> that would have made much more sense if you had punched the clown before, yeah, but you yeah. didn't. So I just murdered a clown for no particular reason. <laughs> I apologize for that. Box of laughs goes with the mummy. MBL and Olive, I have to say <laughs> that you two are striking me as easily amused. <laughs> Josh! <laughs> Don't mean, be rude because they like this game that I have such fond memories of, which is what you always do with things that I have fond memories I don't, of. I don't, I don't Look, want to upset anyone. Our mummy is great now, but is still going to be no match for Harold. So we're going to have to get Harold disqualified. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Okay, do you, do you have a sense of the of what's about to happen here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Ah, ba 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 ba. Your regurgitation? No, I'm a nasty human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be fixed? That's just a figure of speech. That's a good skill. That's a good skill to have. You could have inspected the whole show with human in. Blah 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 blah. Oh no. What a mess. I oh, my God, the sounds. That was the fake barf thrust. We framed Harold. Yep, we as did. As some kind of barfer. Yep, we did. We did that. Um, I think we can win the contest now. Yeah. Honestly, the mummy does have a better smile than either of the others. Not my suction cup. You think that's funny? Hey, when are you guys going? This is a bit of a dialogue heavy segment. So. Yeah, that is that's kind of the the running gag that develops over the course of this game is that in order to to do to achieve anything you have to like be really cruel wow, f for arbitrary reasons to a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. Also, lie, steal, and cheat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say Harold's dead. He fell in it. He fell down the ventilation shaft. Hey, when you 
guy's going to judge Beth's left. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, Why no. I, I, I think that I suppose the because they're Shriner tentacles. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think I think that's exactly it. The, the the ideal arc for this game is that you play, you work yourself up into a sense of frustration, and then the nasty pleasure that you get from finally solving the puzzle by incommoding the people who have, as Josh said, become shades that you yeah, yeah. have filled you with despair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It functions on that level, right? Sure. It's functional. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Nobody else even laughed, right? Even yeah, a little. That's correct. Did they even attempt to get them to laugh? The other two humans are mutes. Yeah. yeah. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. I like the quiet ones with big teeth. That's a good line reading. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. If there is a flaw in this game, he is very well preserved. it's that there are too I'll many jokes. It's time to give him his that was a joke. What you just said <laughs> was a joke. This game has been a real education in learning to recognize jokes. There, for example, is something hysterically funny. They've they've haven't hardly modded that one at all. Yeah. I think that why should they? I think it's Well Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my Edison. Cool. Good job. I'm gonna just pick up this extension cord. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. What's this music? Um. I don't recall. Hmm. Oh, it's Bach, isn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Bach. I don't know why it was playing. What's, yeah, with, the, of the what's with the strings in the background? That was what I was just talking about, which, wasn't it? Which strings? The Bach that was just playing. Oh. It just, was, you it, and it, I it, just did an Abbott right. and Costello. <laughs> hey, Abba! <laughs> it's, uh, the cinem it's the, it was because the sentimentality of the moment of her finally parting ways with this mummy who has been our friend and confidant for this entire time. Yes. All right, all right, cool, cool business. So, remind me what the whole point of us having done that is. Fuck if I know. Oh, we got a dinner certificate. That was the, the prize. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, uh, it says tentacles only. There you go. You can invite him out on a date. No, the guy who thinks you're cute, you gotta ask him out. Oh, that's a good point. No, yep, he's gone. MBL is making me think I'm losing my sense of what a joke is. <laughs> Could it be that this game has thrown me off? Oh, there you go. That's pretty good. That's a fun line. Yeah. It's like a, uh, you know, it, it's cute because it's not funny. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the part of the thing. I think that maybe the point of non-jokes, and I think this may be the, what, why people like the jokes in Steven Universe also, yeah. is that you, you're not meant to laugh at the jokes. Right. You're meant to like feel a kind of camaraderie with the people who are trying their best. I feel like that would work better if you had some real jokes to kind of offset it against, though. Uh, that's true. I mean, there are occasionally real jokes in Steven Universe as well, but not so much in this game. Are you telling me this game is somehow not trying to be funny? No, no, it's definitely trying to be funny. So you're talking about this in a functionalist way? Yes, absolutely. 
butts and start enjoying it. You're meant to be pleased that someone was extending a social amount of effort for you by making you a video game. If we ran off, we'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. He hates skunks, Josh. I mean, I'm already getting like the. We're gonna feeling. have to find us. We're gonna have to find us. Here I go out the door. Oh, I do so enjoy these freedoms that my forefathers fought and died for. Give it up. Sheesh. Sorry, what were you saying, Josh? Um. Anyway, we have to find a skunk, Josh. Just, I'm, a skunk. I'm already getting the feeling that I'm like g getting a similar effect out of this game. That you remember in that in that Hexels episode, I talked about listening to non-musical music, uh, mm -hmm. suddenly making musical music, even the not so good stuff, really great. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've you and I during the course of recording this had have said a couple of mildly funny things, and they they were like, oh, they, they, they were real treats. Well, I mean, it felt like a, it feels like such a relief. Yeah. You know, cat goes under fence. Speaking of Looney Tunes, this is straight the fuck out Looney Tunes. This ought to be good. Oh right, I'm playing a cartoon, says the achievement. Why can't you just... Yeah, even one of the jokes. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely just... straight Looney Tunes right there. Yeah, cool. I made a skunk. Now I have to get the skunk. <coughs> Can you use the squeaky mouse toy with cat? This is my favorite line from the whole thing. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. It's just that so one? inexplicable, yeah. Another specimen. Yeah, prosthetic like, simply wasn't the right word. Her character is kind of his medical student, even though that's never really established. She's like a weird med student. How old are these kids supposed to be? Like, adults. Really? Like, in their 20s, I think. Huh. I mean, Bernard went to the fucking mansion five years ago when he was a teenager, so these are meant to be young adults. And Bale, you can't be serious about another specimen. You really can't be. No, I think I, I think that what you're doing here, Josh, is you're yucking someone's yum. I just want to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got to, I've got to use skunk on family, okay? She's a sophomore, okay. Yeah, she did say that earlier, I remember. There, there was a little bit of the William Tell Overture in the music there. It's yeah. a good joke. You can't do this. This is an escape-proof facility. Oh, Josh, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this next part. Yeah. This part. This part. Yeah. Okay. So, I, by going through all that rigmarole, I managed to get rid of the guard. Having gotten rid of the guard, I can open the grandfather clock. And go down to the basement. He looked at me expectantly. Was that the part? No, 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 no. Okay. I found the generator, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can finally plug in the time machine and go home. I'm going to use... You need a hamster. Is it going to make you go all the way outside to plug this in successfully? I forget the correct way to do this. There you go. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So I can plug this in, but I need a hamster. Yeah. We saw a hamster before, right? Did we? Yeah. Where? So I'm going to go and get that hamster that I saw. So, tell me more about this girl who is the same as Laverne from this game. I'm having a really hard time picturing this as a as a human being. I'm slightly wondering if the chat's frozen on us. MBL appears to have stopped at a... Okay, I'm just going to take hamster. Oh yeah, that cool. hamster. Now, but there's a problem with that, right? Uh, you can't... I can't put the hamster through the chronogen. Yeah, okay. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. Okay, I cannot 
That only I works with alligators. I can't send the no, hamster the chat, through time. The chat isn't frozen. The chat is fine. So, guess what I gotta do? What you gotta do? Guess what I gotta do? You remember that hint from before? The ice. Barely a hint. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Hey, but putting it in there wouldn't work like that. Josh. You should close it. Oh, you're right, I should. It'll never keep if you don't close you're it. You're absolutely right. Hang on, let me close it. There we go, perfect. Okay. Chronogon. Perhaps it should be Chrono John. Cool. <laughs> good joke. She put the frozen hamster down her shirt and went and went. Nyeh. That's a good joke. All right. There was one girl who was most like this one, but it would have been too mean of a comparison. And said, "This is exactly the kind of girl who would have been on that floor. She has aspects of many of us." I see what you're saying. Okay. So, got to do this. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. Lightly singed. fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. It's for kids. The game's for kids. So, um, that's cool. We got a hamster, but it's a cold, wet hamster. He's not going to run on the hamster wheel if he's a cold, wet hamster. So we need to make He him... was lightly singed, thank you very much. No, 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 no. The inventory clearly says that he's a cold, wet hamster. So how do we make... How do we warm up the hamster? Clearly we can't put him back in the microwave. That didn't do the thing that we needed to do. So what do we do about it? I don't know. So we need to put... We need to make... Give the hamster a little sweater, Josh. Um... Where have we seen a sweater, Josh? Where have we seen a sweater? Look, there's a sweater, but it's got this enormous fat man sleeping on it. He's sleeping on it. Okay, but what if I put a dime in the magic fingers? Not enough. He's I even more on the sweater than before. I need another dime. There's a dime stuck to the floor at the bottom of it's the... It's stuck to I can't, the floor. How, how am I going to get this dime off the floor, Josh? You got to use... All-purpose cleaner. Yeah, that's probably true. Wait, what do you want to do with the hamster again? I got to put the hamster in the hamster wheel to power the generator so I can plug in the time machine in the future so that she can be ready to go back when I find a diamond in the present. Yeah, guys, aren't you following? You should be following this. Once, um, we, once we do all that, we'll beat the game. Right, 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 right. So I have to get a crowbar to get the dime off the floor. I remember you where You remember where there's a crowbar? The crowbar is over here. The the thief has it. But I have to give him a set of keys. You remember? You I have to give him a, a set, set of keys. keys. And you want to know something, Josh? What? I don't remember where the keys are. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> I just remembered where the keys are. Uh. <laughs> Dark Veracity got it right. He Dark Veracity sees through. There are the keys. Damn. You have to close the door that is and pick him fucked. out of the fucking that is thing from the inside. Fucked. Isn't it just... Whoa. There you go. I can't wait to see this chain of dominoes t fall. I'm all in We're We're sequence. not ending this stream until I've got that hamster running in that hamster wheel. Okay? That seems fair. That was one of the very first things we decided we would try to do. Yeah. All right. So, got to give... Hey, where was the red paint? Oh, it was in the past just sitting there. Again. Yeah, it was. It was. And it gives, use keys with man and ski mask. These are your keys. Where? Give me. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. 
Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Masked Man. That's a joke because it's a reference to Zorro. That does not make it a joke. That's a joke, I'm Josh. putting my foot down. <laughs> I'm very curious about what that bird bath gets involved with. I'm not actually very curious, but I'm more curious about it than I am most of these other things. Understood. Well, who knows, maybe. All right. I've successfully done that. We've got to release it from the gum. Okay, I can do that. Oh. I definitely get this game's vibe now. It's just a bad one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> somebody somebody has Josh's viewpoint here. Alright, there we go. I have another dime. Ah, the, ba the vibe isn't a bad one. It's the joke that's bad. But the vibe is bad jokes. Okay. Excuse me. I guess bad jokes can be an okay vibe. It's soaking wet. Okay. So, Josh, the problem is, the problem is that this sweater is too big for a hamster. Yes. If I just put it back in time, A, it'll be wet from the chronogen, and B, it'll be too big for the hamster. So what do I got to do, Josh? Mm, just leave it somewhere. No, 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 no. That's not going to be enough. Dryer. Many blinking lights has it. Got to shrink it in the dryer. And in order to shrink it in the dryer, I'm going to have to put... Uh, It's wet because this giant dude was slobbering on it. I think this predates the SpongeBob joke. I could be mistaken then. Alright. Where's the fucking laundry room? I've gotten. I'm all turned around. It's over here. It's a joke. It's a joke. You found a joke. It's a pretty good joke, I think. Ooh, cute. <laughs> right. Of course it would still weigh the There's same. Not a warm hammer. There you go. I can't believe the generator is going to be working. Use toasty warm hamster with generator. You got punched. That was a surprise. Oh no, the mouse hole paid off at last. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick up this hubcap. That's the natural thing to do at this point. Okay. So, uh... You can talk to it, huh? Can we talk to it? Yeah, you can try to coax him out, I guess. We need a vacuum cleaner. Why isn't there a vacuum cleaner down here, Josh? Because that would be too easy. See, that was a very heavy-handed hint. Do you remember when those words happened earlier in this th in this thing? Oh, Josh, Josh, Josh. Josh, 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 Josh. You remember, you remember that flyer we picked up, Josh? No. Oh, it's for vacuum cleaners. Yeah, remember that one? It said George says every vacuum cleaner should have, or every American yeah, home should, should, should have a vacuum cleaner in the basement. <laughs> do you guess what I'm going to do now, Josh? I'm going to make them buy a vacuum cleaner. How am I going to do that, Josh? Oh, you're going to give it to the man of the house. File it, file it with the receptionist. She'll take care of it. Josh, Josh. A suggestion box. Okay. Uh, um, 
boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? I can't wait for there to be other funny suggestions in there. No, I don't think so, man. Yes, uh. whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. <laughs> I'm playing it, Go. <laughs> <laughs> Josh gave up like a good hour and a half ago, an hour ago. Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's I am still here. I don't want... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution... Okay. I think... I think... Yes. That the idea that we... In order to get the hamster out of the hole... We amended the Constitution of the United States the to vacuum? ensure that every home would have a vacuum cleaner in its basement. It's pretty wacky. I think that's a good joke. Oh, it's called a You Suck. I mean, that itself is not a joke. That is the premise of a joke. Mm. <coughs> like, if I were to describe what goes on in some funny jokes to you, they wouldn't be very funny, right? You got it. It's all about the delivery. The joke is the way the funny idea is delivered. Mm. You want to hear a joke that um, a pole, a large pole, once determined to be the funniest in the world? I think I've. I think I remember this, but yeah, go ahead and tell me that joke. All right. There's two uh, hunters in the woods. One of them gets attacked by a bear. Look at that sucker go. And so the other Just calls 911 and says, running, Help! Running. We're in the woods and my friend has been mauled by a bear. I think I think he's dead. And uh, the dispatcher says, Okay, the first thing to do is to make sure he's dead. And she hears a gunshot through the phone. That's There, there it is. That's a joke. Yep. Haven't you told that joke on the stream before? I don't think so. Not on Did this. Did you tell it on trucks on before? A, uh, it's possible you? I told it on trucks at some point. I mean, I've definitely at heard you point. tell that joke before. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've heard me tell, tell that joke before. It's one of the few mm -hmm. jokes that I know. It's true. So, uh, here's the so here's the question, guys. Yeah. I think that by doing the hamster process, go for it, Drost. I've essentially demonstrated. That oh and never mind actually I want to hear Joe's joke first. Let's hear Joe's well, joke. Well, we can probably get a few seconds before he hears me say that. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing the video game then, while Joe tells tells the joke. I sold the shit out of that joke. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Which one of us do you want to read it out, Trust? We'll read it out. Why do elephants have tails? Ah, excellent. I Hang on, let's see if the chat can come up with a response. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. I don't know either. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. So that they don't end abruptly. I think that's a good joke. I like that joke. Josh is still processing this joke. I feel like there's a layer to it I'm missing. A pun or something. 
is it, lit it's, it can't literally just be that with a tail, the end of the elephant is less abrupt because yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't see any, I don't see anything in there beyond that. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> the joke ends abruptly. Not particularly. That's about as long as most punch, most punch lines. <laughs> <sighs> what if funny jokes never existed? That's what I'm starting yeah, to feel. Is this game just like sucking the very concept of joke out of the room? I mean, that's sort of the thing with like uh, <laughs> with current Tumblr. The jokes on current Tumblr, like I, I feel like some of the jokes that I see on current Tumblr are just screenshots of other people trying to make jokes, and the unfunniness of the joke is in itself the joke, which makes me wonder if there is in fact any such thing as a joke anywhere. I saw something funny on Tumblr the other day. I can remember it. Here, it was it was um, the pictures of Bro the characters from Brooklyn Nine Nine with various posts from the internet pasted on top of them. Things that it sounded like they might say. Okay. And okay. Gina's was pretty spot on. It was studies show that I literally did not ask. I thought that was pretty good. It got a laugh out of me. Therefore, even though I'm not capable of perceiving that as funny right now, <laughs> I can confirm the existence of humor. <laughs> I don't. That it certainly got me. No, it didn't. <laughs> you, no, 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 you didn't laugh until I did. I laughed at the. I laughed at the other part. Yeah. I laughed at the other part, which is fine. Uh, What's next? What is next? I, well, I think we've we'd better start. Stop we've got, we'd better stop playing this game. Don't, I mean, don't quit until we're ready to stop the stream. Okay. Okay. So you guys, the tractor joke told on the last guardian stream was great that so. was good that was good an mm -hmm. extractor fan yeah that was a pretty good one so i think i think that we can say that this all in all was <laughs> not up to the standards of the last guardian. <laughs> it's okay i had a nice time talking about bad jokes i think we had a fun stream this game is a piece of ass <laughs> um. <laughs> it's a classic it's a classic game look he they they put all of the Josh. They put all of this time and effort into remaking and smoothing all of these graphics and adding like a director's commentary because so many people care about this game. You can't. This isn't the, the I original. Can't, I can't. Uh, oh, this, this isn't the original, the original menu. Okay. Menu. So of course you can't see it in its original form. That you know, but it does. This does give you an appreciation for the running home stuck joke. You begin to. You begin. What is it? You begin to. That was a problem with Josh actually, wasn't it? You begin to suspect that all of this was a colossal waste of time. Yeah, I think that's what Dress just did, isn't it? Yeah, it was. That was, the, that was exactly what the callback. I mean, it's, yeah, I'm, that, I'm that was about saying, how old well I, observed that was. On, about on. how old I was when I played this game, I think. About that age. What age? The age of eight. Uh, Maybe not. This was a really funny stream. <laughs> you were at the gym for all of it. <laughs> that's a good joke. That made me yeah. laugh. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Okay. All right. I think we need we need some way to, to actually wrap this up. What, what what do you have in mind? Many blinking lights says this game was actually the pixel version release. Yes, yes, it was. There was a long period of time where you could only play this game um, by using a DOS box. No, 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 no. There was a time when you could only play this game using a DOS box emulator. Sometime there people did write a, a emulator for the particular engine on which this game and the other Luc Lucas Arts adventure games ran, though, so you could play it through that for a while too. But it was abandonware for a long time. And then uh, Double Fine picks it up out of the garbage and re-released it. You know, one of my favorite Mikey Allen jokes is um, when the, you 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 encounter a uh, a bridge troll who won't let you over the bridge, mm -hmm. and uh, he wants something from you to get over the bridge. The description he gives that item is uh, a a I can't remember exactly what he says. I don't know if you can, but it's it, it's basically some way of saying a completely useless and random object who for whom you can imagine no particular use, which of course describes every single thing in your inventory. Um, but what he actually wants in the end is a red herring. Yeah, that's a joke. That is a genuine joke. And I'm smiling thinking about it. Because <laughs> because you have been, now been conditioned to appreciate anything. No, that because that is through. actually funny. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> There's an important difference. Uh, thank you, MBL, for digging so hard into why this game might have been 
enjoyable under certain circumstances. Um, thank you, Firks, for uh, admitting that this game would have been enjoyable to you at the age of eight. Thank you, Drost, for... Uh, of course hmm. I know what I like. <laughs> Don't know what I'm thanking Drost for. Thank you, Olive, for the jokes. Oh, the abrupt ending. That was a good joke, so thank you, Drost, for that. Uh, thank you, Koholent, for making me laugh with the This Was a Really Funny Stream joke. Thank you um, for putting up with this. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming out tonight. We'll, we'll figure out something that's... Uh, we owe so all of you a big favor. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. This was a success. <laughs> this was a success and we're negging ourselves, Josh. We nah. can't do that. We can't neg ourselves. Um, and I think we're probably going to go the fuck to sleep at this point. So uh, thanks for sticking around. Yeah, it and was fun. I. Uh, it was fun. 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 Where's the it was, fucking off button? It was fun. Where is it? It was fun. That it was fun. Great.